Hello everyone, welcome to Altus Head to Head. Today we're gonna have a beautiful interview with Michelle Kremser. I hope you guys enjoy it. Actually, yeah. Um, when I decided to make the switch into teaching, it was because, um, you know, though medical translation is all very interesting and the technical terminology and learning is, is you know, endless. You can learn there nonstop. But um, I find that interacting with other people is, um, is, and watching them be able to like get better at something, it's like being a tennis coach or something like that. You are able to, you know, see someone and, 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 and teach them something. And when they're speaking, you'll notice all of a sudden, oh, um, they just stopped and corrected themselves. They didn't say it properly and they themselves stopped it. And you as a teacher, you sit there and you go, that's just great. Um, so yeah, it's, it's this, this feeling that it gives me that I can actually do something in my coaching and teaching. And, uh, and I'm not just a teacher. So actually, yeah, I would do it all over again, twice. Well, um, I would say if you're just starting out, um, as I did, not as a young person, then um, be careful if you're going to sign a contract with a small uh, operation because um, these can be a little bit restrictive. If you're going to go out on your own and freelance, um, then my advice to you is definitely stay a small business um, because the taxing in Germany particularly is such that uh, it's less of a hassle if you are uh, just starting out. So you're, you're much safer that way. Um, you can also network and also I would suggest getting going to one of those um, associations for um, tax advisors. Um, so that you know what you're getting yourself into and stay a small business until you're ready to make the big leap into being a, just a regular business. In Germany, that means that, um, you know, they treat Daimler as the same as they do uh, my, myself. So if you're going to make that jump, you better make it with a decent amount of salary, um, quite a bit over, in fact, almost double over what you would do as a small business. If not, make sure you stay under that line on your income. And uh, network, 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 whether that be with um, ELTAS, uh, English Language Teachers Association of Stuttgart and Baden-Württemberg, or whether you do it with IATAFL, or the Inter-ELTA, or BESIG, or any of these associations, get, get with a teacher organization because you, not everybody, has time to pick up the contracts that are out there and we are a network that we cover each other's backs. So um, I think that it's very important to network in that way and at, um, and at workshops, keeping up with your professional development. That would have to be my advice. Well, yes, I have. And um, actually, I grew up speaking German and English, but my German, um, the studies in school ended and then I stopped speaking for a long time. But I did learn Spanish from scratch and uh, learning Spanish, which, you know, my family, no background in anything uh, in Spanish. I learned that I didn't know my own language very well. And I learned English twice over when I learned Spanish. Um, it, getting a degree in a foreign language like Spanish was, was what made me learn English and even more and become more interested in the English language as a whole. And I think, and I've used it in lessons, um, particularly before it was more with Spanish students, but now I make comparisons where I can see that a student is struggling with a certain topic uh, or a certain grammar point or a certain use of an expression or something like that in English. And I find that having learned the other language, I, I, I can help them through that a lot easier um, than just, you know, if I, if I hadn't learned a foreign language or if I was just an English speaker teaching English as a foreign language.
That's a good question. Uh, I need to be someone who can bend time because I find that uh, I need lots of time to get things prepared. And if I want to do things the way that I would properly do them, I need uh, just more time. Uh, so I would have to say, I don't know, does Superman bend time? I, yeah, I guess he can fly around the make the earth go backwards and save time. I guess Christopher, Christopher Reeves proved that. But um, yeah, because I like to dedicate uh, the time that my students need. But yeah, uh, there's always things that pop up. And um, I find that where it's the hardest is when you're correcting and writing. That takes an awful lot of time. And that's where it's mostly needed. Well, um, a teacher is really a, more than just a teacher, especially the, most of the teachers that work at, um, or that work with Altus. We are all freelancers. We all, um, we all are a one-man show, or maybe we're a couple-man show, or maybe we're a small, um, we're, maybe we're a small um, school or something like that. Um, but the reason that it, we need to sell ourselves more is because uh, there's so much that you can have in your background. My background experience has to do with uh, medical translation. My background experience also has to do with working for a large corporation, Motorola, in the 90s, at the beginning of the cell phones. And who knew that that would uh, pan into something here in Germany um, from 20, 30 years ago. Um, I think people, for us, they need to become more developed, not just as teachers, but also as a business person, as a business themselves, and using these business skills because they become then more sellable to the clients they're trying to serve. For more information about our organization, contact us at info at Or if you're interested in participating in one of these interviews or have questions to ask for the interviews, please contact us at social media at eltas.de. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so that you're notified every time we come out with a new video. Gracie approves, don't you, girl? Get you right, little girly girl. <laughs> Bye.